Well, I remember when I was a child, um, I was always attracted to like uh, places where people disposed uh, things, like garbage place. Me and a friend of mine, we would go there and try to savage things, pick up things from, you know, whatever people threw away. The mosaic I create is a, uh, it's actually a kind of mosaic called picassiette, which in French is uh, broken china. I incorporate uh, ceramics, but also plates, uh, cups, everything, you know, that we used to eat uh, in terms of ceramics. And uh, I use the print on the china. Like, uh, for instance, where there are strips, I see uh, windows, uh, I see domes, uh, ice, the different parts of my, uh, the expression that I use comes from the print on the china. It's some inspiration. I am always picking things off the street, found objects. I'm fascinated by things that I find in the, on the street. And I, uh, most of the time I'm with a bag. And yes, I use everything that I can everything that uh, inspires me. I'm inspired by objects. I put them together, it's my forte. Latin American art in general is characterized by the use of, uh, of materials. It's, uh, I mean, magic realism was an ism that, one of the few isms that grew up in, that was uh, born in, in Latin America. And that thing of uh, expressing things, you know, like in a crazy way, with a kind of like a surrealism of the tropic. And Latin America is something typical of Latin American art. So uh, Cuban people, uh, they have limitations with materials. But also, I don't know if it is because of the material or because we like it, but we generally tend to incorporate everything into our art. It's a uh, magic art.